Welcome to the 1993 Scottish Six Days Trial, starting here with weigh-in day, which takes place on the Sunday before the trial actually starts. Weigh-in day is usually quite a good atmosphere there. Here's Dougie Lampkin uh, watching Father Martin, putting him a mud flap on there, a bit of a last minute alteration, stop him clogging his radiator up. Rob Crusher there, doing a few last minute adjustments to his gas gas. There's a quick shot of the, um, well, not so tidy Yamaha addition to their tank. It only holds a few pints as standard, so they had to do something. In the gas gas tent now with Wayne Braybrook, doing some last minute alterations to his fancy pink goggles. Motor oil man Killer Kendrew there, giving somebody the spill, and Woody here, dusting off his pride and joy, his new jerry can. I think he likes that more than his bike. Young Harry Lampkin there on the PJ1 oil stand. And now, as is the norm on the day before most trials, a bit of paddock posing. Probably doing some flip turns here. We won't be needing many of them in Scotland. And overdoes the wheelie a bit there. Now back wheel onto the edge of the wall. Superb control, but again, he won't be needing that in the trial. A shot of a few Dunlop tyres here. They are one of the major sponsors of the trial this year. Okay then, Monday morning and the start of the trial proper. Uh, this is about half past seven, quarter to eight, Monday morning. There's Jim McComb, the trial organiser. And um, for once, it, well, it is a cold morning, but at least it's dry. Uh, a lot different to last year. Here's the number one, Vince McIntosh, Scottish rider. Gets a good clap. And uh, number two here, Mark Talbot. Here's trial regular Dave Thorpe, he must have ridden about 30 times. Knows his way around very well. Robert Cockshot. He went on to finish in the top 20. And here's me, uh, this is about the only clean I had all week. And then I only just did that. Quick shot here of the army, who did a Quite a good job really, refuelling. Not many riders actually ran out. And so on to the first section, Paul Rose there. Pretending he's enjoying himself. Looking quite smooth and, well, quite relaxed considering it's early Monday morning. He's fighting it a little bit, but uh, that wasn't too bad at all really. Yamaha teammate Phil Alderson. Looks like he's taking an early five there. As you can see here, the weather was quite changeable by now up, up in Ben Nevis. And this here's Steve Saunders. Had a very, very bad ride last year and he's hoping to make amends this year. And he uh, certainly looks to be getting to grips with this gas gas. Better than he did last year. Last year, obviously, he was on his Aprilia. Actually took an early dab there, which he probably won't be very happy about. Nerves playing a big part still, though. There's one of the Spanish riders, enjoying a rare glimpse of sunshine. And here's beta boss John Lampkin. Still one of the most stylish riders, very, very slow. Actually made that look quite easy. And... Uh, Former world champion Martin Lampkin's son Duggar here. He was actually to get um, a lot of support through the trial. All the spectators love him and uh, he does have a very aggressive style. There's Japanese rider Mashima. Obviously riding a Yamaha, they're very, very loyal. But uh, already finding it quite hard going. A 
and last year's winner Steve Colley. Again, Steve's quite nervous, but um, seems to put all that behind him and still manages to make quite a good start. One of the regular observers there. See him quite a few times through the week as Rob Crawford goes up the next section. Rob was another rider who last year had a very, very bad ride and he'll be hoping to make amends as well. On now to the last group of the day, Lagnahar, and this was to change the job quite a bit for quite a few people. Um, Lee Barnes here, one of the earlier riders, struggling. These were very, very slippery early on, no path through them. And here's me. Uh, Having a bit of a wobble here, this was a bit of a cock up really, but nothing like as bad as I did on the section before, so, but uh, that's how it seems to go for me. Oh, Wayne Braybrook, one of the pre-trial favourites, putting in a big effort here, steadying himself. Composing himself, getting ready to do the next part of the section. And that part there was very, very awkward. As Wayne finds out there, uh, he'll have probably got away with a dab for that. But, uh, I suppose he will have been testing the observer's patience a little bit, but yeah, that must have been worth a dab. Joel Richardson here, actually been having a bit of a bad year but um, came up to Scotland, one of his, his favourite trials and he put in a very good performance actually. Yeah, that was a nice ride. Beta teams to Woody Hall here. Another one who enjoys Scotland, not the trial, the nightlife. The trial is just something to do through the through the day for him before he gets down to the serious stuff in the evening. But no no mean performer at all, would he? And John Shirt here, very very aggressive as usual. And this is the one trial that most in life he would love to win, and he really gears himself up to do so. another section slightly at the other side of the stream. Um, good long legs there from Shirty, actually having a few dabs. That's section was cleanable, he probably won't be very happy with that. And young Graham Jarvis here. Probably one of our most improved riders. And having a, a long, long dab there and he's actually made a bit of a mess of that for Graham. Uh, redeems himself a bit in the next section. This was too continuous. Was. And John Lampkin here, looking a little bit aggressive, which is very, very rare for John Boy, but now we're back to normal again. He's parked right between the fourth and the fifth section there, as you can see. And, uh, a little bit of trick stuff and gets it going again. Again, very, very slowly. And very smooth. That bit there was very narrow, as you could see, he had to lift his leg up to fit through. Last year's winner, Steve Colley here. A few tricks to line himself up. And these rocks were very slippery and it, was, it would have been very dodgy to, for anybody but a really good rider to do tricks on. Even Steve there had to have a dab with his knee. And, and now, um, well, who knows what that was? Probably a three. And 
and so up to the end of the first day and <coughs> the last minute rush for a few of them to see if they could get the card in in time to not lose any time Mark. I've had a very steady day really, um, no major mistakes but no brilliant rides, just an average day. And what's your final score today? 11 today. And you're happy with that? Yeah, steady day. Yeah. yeah, and can you keep this up for the rest of the week? Hope so, yeah, hope to get a bit better on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Right, I wish you all the best. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers, thanks. Karen, this is your first Scottish Six Days, is it what you expected? Uh, yeah, definitely what I expected. Um, the sections were as tough today as what I thought they'd be, but I like, still made too many mistakes really. Uh, and have you had any problems with the bike? No, the bike's been superb. Um, no any problems with riding today, but it's going to get better as the week goes on. Okay, Monday of the 1993 Scottish Six Day, Steve, how's it gone? Um, well, you know, I'm, I'm sure to get it out of the way. Uh, this morning I was, I was quite nervous. Um, you know, obviously, like a lot of people, they were expecting us to win and what have you. So <laughs> I was pretty stiff this morning on the first group of sections. Um, towards, uh, later on this afternoon, towards Lagenhall group of sections, uh, I started to flow a bit better. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy enough, I had a few ricochets. Um, there again, I've had a few like real bad ones as well. But, um, I'm on about nine or ten today, so I'm happy enough. It's, it's still in there with a shout. Um, you know, so I'm looking forward to the rest of the week. Right, cheers. Wish you all the best for the rest okay, of the week. Okay, thanks. thanks. How's it gone today? Uh, a bit nervous to start off. I uh, had a, a two in Ben Nevis and a one in Cottesburn, and then I got stead himself down a bit and had a few good cleans and took day from there really, I set off fairly well from there so can't complain really. And what position are you hoping to finish in the overall six days? Uh, top ten hopefully. Top ten. Okay then we'd like to wish you all the best. Thank you. Cheers. Day two now, and uh, one of the riders going down Memoir Road, part of the Scottish that uh, we all become very familiar with. Onto the first group of sections, Alp Nathrak, and John Lampkin cruising his way up there, making that one look easy as usual. And uh, Scotch rider. Scots rider Carrick Crawford Anson. Struggling a little bit actually there. Stephen Davis here. Doing a little bit of leg waving. And getting a little bit slow, but that was quite a tidy ride. And now across the Coram Ferry. And a quick word with John Lampkin, the trial leader. Still on clean to here. Yeah. Can't last. Don't expect it to, so we've got no worries. <laughs> um, very naturally this morning, you know, like in Scotland, you know, we get a lot of straightforward, get the job going. But just at the moment, they're like really piddly first gear stuff. Yeah. But as soon as you ask me, bike's going brilliant. Beat it, sint. Yeah. Um, no great worries. Yeah. We got the old bell. Across the other side of the ferry, it takes about five minutes. If you were to go by road, it takes about an hour and a half, I think. And then uh, a bit of a trek up to the road to the to the next group. Cheryl Richardson here. Takes a dab there, actually having quite a good day. Uh, 
Moving quite well up the leaderboard. Kieran Hankin here. Montessa Ryder. Hanging on well there. Well, gets in a spot of bother and uh, mm, lucky to get away with a dab there. Rob Sartin, bit of an all-rounder Rob, only rides in the Scottish now, trials-wise, but uh, does a lot of Enduros. Steady ride for Rob. Graham Jarvis now, looking quite stylish and in control. One of our most improved riders. Yeah, just flicked it over there very nicely because that was quite hard. The camera smoothed those rocks out. There was there were quite a few holes there. Many riders found. And Steve Saunders now, stylish as ever. And has to take a dab there. In fact, two. So. That's got to be classed as quite a poor ride for Steve. Quite a few riders clearing this one. And uh, Paul Dixon here having a spot of bother. Kill Maliu now. I think this was probably the first section there. Still flippery. And John Lampkin here, very slow, very precise again. Some do with a bit of an overheating problem there. Certainly the end of his trial. And Blackie Holden doing a spot of tuning himself. Day three now, and John Lampkin there getting the job underway. A couple of youngsters in the paddock there. Paul Lamplow giving us a wave. Scarborough lad. Pete Mitchell there. And on to the sections, Craig Lundy. Woody there taking a dab. And Wayne looking like he's had a good ride there. He's got his regular Philip Alderson. Heaving his way around there. Getting a good clap. And what looks like a big five for John Shirt. A big, big disappointment for him. Really trying to win this trial. I think he's probably already had a five for that unless he's very lucky. Steve Colley. Looking stylish, but uh, front wheel finds a hole and he probably just managed to heave that out for a dab. And Dougie, young Dougie Lumpkin. Looking smooth. Very smooth. Just falls off but he's through the end cards there. And Scottish regular Nigel Burkett, fellow veteran. <laughs> Dabbing away there. Takes an easy three. 
In the next section up, this is Steve Colley again. That makes that one look easy. Again, followed by uh, Dougie Lampkin. There's a bit of a hole in that uh, stream there, and Dougie's found it. And uh, I would think he's been marked a five up there by Mrs. Blythe straight away. Rob Crawford now. Still in with a chance. And he struggles there as well. But uh, just manages to get away with a dab on that part. And the hard bit was really where he is now. He takes another dab, another probably a two or a three there. And so on to the last section of the day, which is Burn. Right, Kent just pulling in to have a look at it. When this was first introduced it was looked really really hard but now the modern day bikes if you get them lined up they just cruise it. As Dougie shows us there. And veteran Nigel Burkett cruises it as well. Still worth a clap for a clean but you don't get much for a one. And Ian Abbott not looking too happy with himself there, must not have just got lined up properly. And easy for Rob Crawford. Day four now. A few of the top riders there are having a bit of a discussion. The trail's got into a bit of a pattern now, and any one of only about four or five riders can win it. Phil Alderson there setting off. And young John Shirt. Stops and has a quick word with his dad. On to the first section. Dougie Lampkin, still got his jacket on after a long ride down the road. But, uh, looking good. Chairlift, not the section it once was, when it was first introduced it was very, very difficult, but now the clean's probably about an average ride. This is the next section up in chairlift, and this is a lot, lot harder. Not many cleans here. Steve Cully in a spot of bother there but manages to wiggle his way out of there without any great drama. A few tricks there, line himself up because that was still very slippery. He gets a good clap for that. Cleans, cleans a good ride there. Same section Rob Crawford. Rob does that, no problems either. Back down to the bottom section of chairlift now, and Blackie Holden fighting his way up. Just managing to stay online. This bit here was uh, quite a few years ago, was very, very difficult, but Again, the modern bikes just level the section, really. There's one of the regular observers. Gavin Cooper here. Has to take a dab after his front wheel snags on a rock. Very, very stylish rider, Gavin, but um, a bit like one or two of the others, he's a bit more interested in the nightlife. But... Uh, goes up the top part fairly easily. The Yamaha works rider Adam Norris. Very, very aggressive, but actually taking it quite steady through this section. 
likes to give it big handfuls though and really let it let it go. Got himself in bother there and aggressively fought his way out. Yeah, no further problems there. Jason Lawyer here. Just in a spot of bother. Very, very nice rider, Jason. Actually makes that look very easy. And Jim Boggis doesn't seem to ride very often. And that bike there is probably three or four years old and uh, still manages to get it into the top ten. Mark Jackson, part-time enduro, part-time trial rider. Takes a dab there. Another very slow, stylish rider. Probably enjoys the mall and going more than the sections now, does Mark. No problems there. And Woody here. Looking fairly controlled. there. Did well to get away with the dab because there was a nasty looking rock there ready to catch him. Phil Alderson, not quite as high up the leaderboard as what he usually is. He's usually a top three contender. Come very near to winning it in previous years. But uh, has no problem there. Graham Jarvis. He's well up the leaderboard. Looking in control. Yeah, that was a very tidy ride. Very nice. And John Shirt Jr. Quite aggressive. Big 3.30 gas gas. Plenty of low down torque. And that was a smooth ride as well. Past winner Steve Saunders. Making a late charge. Wants to put in two or three best day performances. really came back from the dead to make it a very very exciting finish and the last group of the day first sit this uh, section you see this rider not getting up has worn away a little bit it used to be about another three foot higher and I think the water's eroded it away making it slightly more easy it's just Quite difficult to get lined up, but um, no problems really. Paul Rose making hard word of work of it. Next section up here, Wayne Braybrook. And the next part of the section was the most difficult part, so Wayne's lining himself up and recomposing himself. Obviously not late on time. Away he goes. Very loose here where he's turning and then you've accelerated a double slab. He actually made that look very easy but it was, it was quite undercut. On to day five now, just before the trial starts, and uh, a, bit of, a bit of fettling going on. Bikes have been taking a bit of a hammering by now. Rob Crawford's van. 
to sponsorship there on Collie's Helmet. And uh, one of the first groups, Piper's Burn. Collie doing a few tricks to just get himself perfectly lined up. And uh, just out of the ends cards there. Well, all his bikes out, so it's not a problem. And the next section up. These are all very slippery and very difficult to clean. But, uh, yeah, it takes a one there, but a one's still quite good. Young Mo and Crawford discussing which way to go. Crawford riding the section now. Can't resist doing a few tricks. Has a bit of a rest. He's um, nearly between the two section divide line. And Well, a little bit of a pause there, that would be interesting to see what Brenda Jones gives him because she's very strict if nothing else. Gav Cooper there. I would think he'll have got a five for that without any question. She's probably already written it down. Crawford there in between sections with a full kit of Aprilia spares. And uh, me here having a wobble, taking a two there, and um, glad of it. Don't want to be pausing for too long for Brenda Jones and Wayne Braybrook here, looking quite smooth, but had to take a dab. But again, he's trying to keep it moving. We all know that um, she doesn't take any any messing around, don't Brenda Jones? There's no arguing with her. And Woody having a nice ride there. Yeah, that was a very nice ride. That's a good clap for that. Paul Rose. You can see there's one rock there that's snagging everybody, and he uh, really made use of that dab, but unfortunately he's had to take another. Anything less than a three on this section is quite good, though. Next section up, Paul Rose again. Has a bit of a narrow start, but... Uh, and then you've just got to basically stay on line on this one. It was quite smooth. Phil Alderson. Still in the top section here. Yeah, made that look quite easy. And Steve Saunders now, really trying to make his charge up the leaderboard. Putting in best day again today. Um, moving him into third place. Graham Jarvis there, taking a dab that he didn't really want. But uh, ones don't lose you the trail. Fives do. Phil Alderson here testing the Yamaha's road speed. And John Shirt Jr. giving the cameraman a wave. Down to one of the Phillips. Again, we have to say the Army did a very good job this year. One or two people weren't too happy last year, but uh, this year they did all right. And on to the last section of the day, Jim Boggis on his air-cooled gas gas. Making that look quite easy, actually. Very snaggy sort of a section, this one. It's very easy to get caught up on it. As Matt Collin finds out. Two subsections together and... This top one can take marks off you without any problem at all, but uh, Mark manages to redeem himself by a clean there. Jason Lawyer cruises up it though. It's all a matter of how you hit it at the bottom. 
And they made that bit look easy as well because that could grab your foot rests and stop you if you weren't quite straight. Woody does the uh, step. But yeah, he's just got caught on that and well, dicing with danger there, he probably got away with a dab. Ian Thompson showing us how not to do it. As one or two others are, it's, it's again it's just hitting it absolutely right. And Wayne did just that. And quite aggressive up there, but he just wasn't quite straight and flicked him off and he should be quite happy for a dab there. Stuart Raw here. And he's tumbled off that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's just it. If you haven't got your weight in the right place, the bike can get ahead of you. Luckily, there's always a few riders to catch you. Paul Rose here really attacks the section. Yamaha team boss Roger Harvey there telling one of his riders, Phil Alderson, exactly how to do it. <laughs> Looks like he's giving him a bit of duff advice there. Philip takes a five. And John Shirt, one of the more aggressive riders, really has a lovely ride up there, makes it look easy. And Stevie Saunders just keeping the pressure on. Again, really stylish and smooth. And here's a few of the riders just pulling into the time check before nipping across on the ferry, blasting down the road and fitting new tyres and anything else that needs doing before the last day. So on to the last day, sixth and final day, with Steve Colley carrying an eight mark lead from Steve Saunders and Wayne Braybrook. Phil Alderson there, obviously having fitted a new tyre. This is the ride down to Pipeline. to the section itself now. Jason Lawyer here winding his way up the lower part. Followed by Woody Hull wearing one of Steve Colley's World Championship uh, shirts with number nine on it. Braybrook picking his way up. A little bit nervous now because he could like move up a place or two or he could move down very easily. Graham Jarvis 
Trying to keep a bit of momentum going. This looks like the top one in pipeline. And you've got in a spot of bother there. Very, very slippy polished rocks they are, but uh, actually made it look easy in the end. And Steve Saunders trying for another best day, trying to really put some pressure on Collie. But it's looking like he's left his challenge just a little bit late. You have to hand it to him, the lad doesn't know when to give up. Very nice, straightforward ride. Rob starts out in here, sporting his Union Jack shirt and his Enduro riding. Now Prillia rider Paul Dixon. Graham Jarvis is World Championship minder, but quite a fair rider in his own right. Takes a slack dab there that he looked like he didn't really need, but the one's not too bad there this stage of the week. John Lampkin taking the round line. Everybody else has gone straight up, but cool as ever. Cool, smooth. Yeah, he's still up there, is John. And the trial leader, Steve Colley. Being quite aggressive up this one. Taking the attitude, nothing's going to stop him now. And Dougie Lampkin, who's been more or less following him all week. Dougie's in a spot of bother there. But uh, no problems there, really. He was in bother, but bounced it out. Rob Crawford here, saving his uh, best day till the last. Actually puts in the best performance, looking very aggressive on this section. And he's still one of the very top riders when he puts his mind to it. This is going under Balakulish Bridge, taking us on to the very last sections of the trial, Ben Nevis. This is about section four or five in, in the top few in Ben Nevis and Woody Hall here. Doing a few tricks. He's got a little bit high there. And just to wiggle his way out for a dab. At that stage of the trial, that was a pretty good ride. And Wayne Braybrook now. Still keeping the pressure on. Top three performance. And that was a very good ride in that section. Mick Andrews here, sporting some, uh, well, cycling shorts. You'd think he'd be old enough to know better. Still a fair, fair, fair rider in the Scottish, though, is Mick. And John Shirt Jr. Winding his way up, and he's lost his foot in. That is a serious blow for him. <laughs> Looking at his face, he's well sick at that, this, this near to the end of the week. But showed good composure. A year or two we'd have expected a rev out and rocks everywhere from that. Paul Rose here at the next section up. Just manages to get his front spindle out before knocking the end card over. Steve Saunders making sure that the result was certainly nothing definite until the very last section of the day. And it's not often you see Steve Saunders do that but uh, he was just out. Graham Jarvis another rider having a good day on his last day always nice to finish well. Yeah, it makes that look quite easy. And Rob Crawford. Again, he puts in the last, the best performance on the last day, so you'd expect him to clean this the way he's going. 
and does so with a bit of leg waving. And here's Mr. Smooth again. Hadn't ridden for about four or five weeks before the Scottish and then just comes in and leads it at halfway but uh, obviously couldn't quite sustain the pace. And here's the soon to be winner, Steve Colley. Keeping his jacket on when everybody else has got theirs off. Yeah, making that look just so easy. Young Dougie Lampkin here. Actually takes a dab there, but what a brilliant ride he's had this week. In his first effort to come sixth is just absolutely brilliant. What a future that lad's got. And so to the trial winner himself, this is the last ten feet of the last section. And he's making sure, a bit of posing, just to show his relief that he's won. And then he gets congratulated by a few of his friends and helpers. Right, congratulations Steve on your second consecutive win of the Scottish Six Days. How was the week for you? Um, this week has been like one of the most nerve-wracking weeks of my life. Um, I'm just like so glad it's over now. Um, not because I, I, I don't enjoy it, but um, you know it is hard work. It's a long, nerve-wracking week. Um, you, you know, I'm, I'm up here as defending champion all last year. Um, so people do expect you to win, but um, no, it, it's been a good week and as I say, I'm just glad it's all over. And how's the factory beat to perform for you? Um, the bike's been spot on this week. I've had a, a few um, minor hiccups with it, um, just watering the carburetor um, and a few other bits and pieces, but uh, nothing major at all, it hasn't missed a beat. And what was the highlight of the week for you? Uh, it's been a few. Um, obviously on Ben Nevis there, um, I went into Ben Nevis today, I only had a five mark advantage over Saunders uh, and I cleaned the first two sections there which I, uh, I considered pretty hard so I was over the moon when I cleaned those two because I knew it was it, it was somewhere near in the bag then um, but no there's been, been quite a few various rides that I've, I've enjoyed this week Right congratulations Okay thanks very much lads Cheers. For your Scottish Six Day, Rob, how's your week been? Uh, been alright uh, this week, just uh, going pretty well until Wednesday there, um, and a wee bit of a blowout on Thursday, just in the last group, which uh, which didn't please me that much. I had a bit of a chain off in there, which sort of cost me a few. And uh, Friday from the early day was pretty steady and won today, so not too bad. Just you know, can't you can't afford to have that sort of one bad day, which I had. So that was uh, that's all really. And have you ridden well? Yeah, I have. I've been well pleased with the way I've ridden. Um, the start of the week I was coming in with not bad scores, but I wasn't happy with the way I was riding. And the week I was happy with the way I was riding, but more sort of flowing and things like that. And uh, but just a few, you know, mistakes. Not many, but just, you don't have to be doing a lot wrong to have them up here, like you know. And how's the bike performed this week? Yeah, it's been all right. No problems with the bike. Uh, just had a bit of dirt in the carburetor today after piping it and cleaned that out. That was all right. So pretty indestructible, really, the old bike. And uh, yeah, it's been alright. No alright, thanks very much. Right, cheers. cheers. Thanks. How's your week gone this week, John? Um, very disappointed actually. Um, I came up here just for one reason, that was to win. Um, I know I can win it. I'm just last year as well as this year, I'm just played with just real soft fives. I mean, you know, you, you shouldn't say if and but, but. Like yesterday, my chain come off on an easy one. Today, I fell off in a big heap. I mean, you know, there's other people, there's other riders do the same, but I just see that's the only thing that lets me down up here, really. Because I ride, I ride all right. It's just the fives, that's all. Woody, how's the week been for you? Uh, not too bad. I've no problems. Bike's been great. It's uh, just my riding. Just had too many stupid fives, which you can't afford up in Scotland. So, but it's another year, and I'll try then.
back, we're just going to talk to Stuart Dozier, who's trials coordinator for Dunlop Tyres. Stuart, we've seen a massive uh, support for the Scottish Six Days by Dunlop Tyres. Has this been a successful venture for you? Very much so. We came up here purely and simply to support all the, the Dunlop Shod teams, and it's been a major success. We may not have won the event, but we've had best of days. It was new product that hadn't been tested up here before, so it was sort of fingers crossed how will it perform. It's performed magnificently. We've had, uh, as I said, both Rob Crawford and John Lampkin have had best days. You know, Steve Collie's won it, but at this moment in time, I can't see anybody who could have beaten him. Um, yeah, we're more than happy. Howdy. 